All right, Algebra 2 students, here we're going to do a geometric sequence. Again, geometric looks like the exponential, so let's take a look at what the problem says. Uh, the average height for human males is increased by 0.05%, that's five one hundredths of a percent, from 1948 up until 2008. If he started at, or not 1948, but 1548, if he started at 54 inches, how tall should he be now? So, Again, what we're looking at is an increase um, from year to year. And each year, starting at 54 inches, we've increased our height by 0.05%. So when I look at this and I say, OK, well, first of all, what's the starting value? If you remember when we set up these equations, I wrote this on the board. The initial value times our multiplier And we stuck the n over there to make it look like an exponential equation. So in this one, we're looking at, well, 54 inches. 54 is where we started out at for height times their multiplier. Now, to figure out the multiplier, again, you want to look at this and say, OK, well, first of all, it's increasing, because they say it's increased by this amount. Increasing, it's got to be bigger than 1. This 1 represents that 100%. If, uh, if I didn't have anything else here, it would just say we've stayed at 54 inches, because it would be 1 times 1 times 1 times however many 1s I want to line up after it. But it would still be at 54 inches. So to get that little bit of growth, I've got to add on a couple of zeros. That would be your 1%, 10%, 20%, those first two, the first two units. But 0 0.05 has to come in here as a percent. If you want to think about converting this number back into a decimal from the percentage, again, you want to slide that decimal point over two places. So clearly there's three zeros before the five when it shows up right after that decimal point. So that's what our equation is going to look like, the starting height times the multiplier. Now, if we want to look at 2008, which is right now, first of all, we're going to figure out what end value did we have. We got 2008 minus the 1548, we should be left with 460 years of evolution, whatever you want to call it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my calculator, plug in the 54, put in parentheses, 1.0005 to the 460th power. Let's see if we can get this in here so you can see it. 54, 1.005 to that 460th power. And as I hit enter, I come up with 67.96, or about 68 inches. Sixty inches is five feet, so five foot eight, which is pretty average for a male. Um, that's four and a half feet from way back in the day. So when you look at this again, it's not so much coming up with this final solution that's the difficult part. It's just a matter of figuring out what is this multiplier? How much are we increasing it by? And it goes back into that idea that when we have an increase, that simply implies that our b value in that equation, y equals, excuse me, t of n equals ab to the n, that b has to be greater than 1. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me.